Welcome to Top Dice. And welcome to the world of Greyhawk. That's what you see before you now. Hi, I'm Aid. Welcome to this Top Dice episode. It's going to be the first of quite a few I'll be doing about uh, the world of Greyhawk. Greyhawk has uh, hit the news again recently. It's looking like it's going to be appearing as uh, front and centre in the new version of 5th edition. Um, but this is something that uh, our, our world I've played in for many, many decades, and it's a world I love. It's the world I actually sort of started Dungeons and Dragons in properly. Um, so there's a lot of love here from me about it. So I thought I'd share that with you, and I'm going to do that through a series of podcasts, basically telling you about Greyhawk. I'll be covering quite a few different things in this particular episode. I'll cover the basics, which is basically the setting, the basic setting. I'll cover the calendar, uh, and in future settings, so future episodes, I'll cover um, settings, as in various parts of the, uh, the, the actual world, so various lands, cultures, I'll cover deities, I'll cover adventure points, um, I'll cover geographical features, and just about anything else. Please click subscribe, that way you're not going to miss anything. Hopefully you'll learn a bit about the world through this, um, and I'm going to try and keep it from a non-historical point of view, so you can use that information more or less in whatever Greyhawk setting you wish to actually use for yourself, whether it's the older, whether it's the newer, the information will be there and current. So the basics, what is Greyhawk? Greyhawk is a setting for Dungeons and Dragons. It started off as uh, part of the uh, original D&D and moved forward through to Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 3.5 um, wasn't really touched on in fourth, but it did uh, it did make a few couple of appearances, and um, again fifth edition. So it's been a while since we've seen anything really about uh, about Greyhawk, but Greyhawk is just the name of the free city within this particular part of this world. So the world, what is it? The world is called Earth. O e r e o e r t h Earth. It's situated in a grander setting of grey space. Now, it's quite unusual because everything circulates around the planet rather than it's sort of having a source. Basically, it is the center of the system. So grey space, a bit different than uh, what you would actually expect, but quite interesting as well. Now, the planet itself, uh, like I said, it's called Earth. Um, the area we'll be looking at specifically, which is the area that's covered on this planet is called the Flaness, um, and that's been with us for quite a while as that. And Greyhawk is, I say, a tiny little city when it comes down to it, in a much larger realm, and that's what Greyhawk actually is. Now, the world uh, itself, it's got a couple of satellites. It's got two moons. So the first moon, called Luna, that's a whiter disk in the sky. Uh, it's the larger moon of the two, and that has a cycle of 28 days. So every 28 days, you'll actually see it in all its glory. There's also a second satellite, a smaller moon, which is about an aquamarine sort of semi-bluish colour. And this moon is called Selene. Now, it's also called the Handmaiden as well as this particular uh, moon. And that has a different pattern entirely, and that comes to the four and becomes a full moon once every three months. So if you've got lycanthropy, depends which moon you're aligned to. Could be quite interesting that. It may be you're aligned to both, in which case, a bit tough. But there you go. There's that. Now then, moving on from that, um, we are going to cover the actual calendar. So, moving on to the calendar, we've got uh, we've got a week. A week consists of seven days, so not dissimilar to us in in this world or our real world. You've got uh, seven days, as I said. You've got Star Day, Sunday, Moon Day, God's Day, 
Water Day, Earth Day, and Free Day. They're the uh, the seven days. Now, Star Day, Sunday, Moon Day, they're considered to be work days. God's Day is a day of prayer um, and contemplation. You've got Water Day and Earth Day, which are also work days. And then you've got Free Day, which is your rest day. That is if you're a normal worker. Now, obviously, a lot of adventurers aren't normal workers, but that's the way the actual economy and world actually sort of sits. And it's right across the Planess is, uh, is this. Now, there are different names for the days, depending on your culture, etc. But I've just gone with the common names there. So there you go. There's your uh, basic seven-day calendar. Star Day, Sunday, Moon Day, God's Day, Water Day, Earth Day, Free Day. So the month. Each month consists of 28 days. Um, and a year consists of 12 months. In between the months, every three months, there is a festival or festive day. Uh, that's used for a variety of different reasons, as we'll come to in a minute. Right, so what does a year look like on Flaness in the world of Greyhawk? Right, start off, beginning of the year, you have a celebration day, Need Fest. This is midwinter, basically, and it's a midwinter celebration. It's a day um, where you basically take time out and... Um, you celebrate whichever way or basically hide away from winter, depending on your views and your opinions. Then you move into the winter month of Fire Seek. After Fire Seek, you've got uh, two spring months, the, the Red Ying and Cold Even. After Cold Even, you've got the, uh, the Growfest Festival. Now, Growfest obviously is connected with the initial planting and preparing of crops. And uh, from that festival, you move on to what's called low summer. Your low summer consists of three months. You've got planting, block time, uh, and wheel sun. After wheel sun, there's another celebration day, and that's rich fest. That's your midsummer festival, that one, which is usually quite popular. Um, after you've had Rich Fest that particular day, you then move into High Summer. High Summer days, you've got uh, Reaping, Good Month, and Harvester. And then you're into yet another festival day, Brewfest. With Brewfest out the way, it's a bit downhill weather wise from there. You're then into the autumn months of Patchwall and Ready Reet. And then the winter of Sunzeb. And then you do a complete circle again back to Need Fest. So there you go. Those are your months and your festive days. So you start off with Need Fest, Fire Seek, Ready and Cold Even, Festival of Grow Fest, Planting, Flock Time, Wheel Sun, Festival of Rich Fest, Reaping, Good Month Harvester, Brew Fest Festival, Patchwall, Ready Reet, Sun's Ebb. And that is your calendar there. So there we go. That's your basic first introduction to Greyhawk. Uh, there's going to be quite a lot more, as I sort of said. Uh, the next one, I'll be looking at uh, potentially um, the regions of Greyhawk and giving you an overview on that side, just so you actually sort of know, I've got some idea of how this world is actually sort of built up. Just remember, the Flaness and the area we're looking at is just a very, very small proportion of the actual planet itself. So... Welcome to Greyhawk. I'm glad you joined me. Make sure you click subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.